All right, what's good? Family, back at it again. So I just wanted to do another cool video on something I, on this plugin I really like. Very easy, very intuitive. Um, gets the job done fast. Very simple. And this plugin is called Track Spacer, which was created by a company called Waves Factory. However, I, I understand that there are videos on this as well, but I'm just showing you how I do it in regarding my uh, song that I did with a few friends. And what I was noticing is um, with the vocals and the beat were um, kind of like competing with each other in certain frequencies, right? Keep in mind that this is a two stem track that the beat is on and the vocals are on a two stem track as well so they're separated so i deliberately did this just to do a demonstration of this plug-in um and i found that the frequencies are fighting with each other within the vocal um ranges as well as the instruments in the beat track itself so what i did was I got this plugin. I always wanted this plugin because it's fast, man. You can just quick and do what you need to do when you're working in this field, you know, mixing for people or mixing for other clients. <clears throat> what I noticed, you know, a lot of artists like to get these two track beats that's, you know, pretty much mastered and stuff and record uh, into that. But a lot of the instruments, you know, um, that was mixed with the beat without vocals sometimes overpower the main vocals so we have to combat that there are other ways you can do this without this plug-in and it's with a multi-band compressor you can do this you can side chain it as well and you can um set it to where um it'll start attenuating uh certain frequencies in the uh, multi-band compressor so you can actually do this if you don't have this plug-in uh, with a multi-band compressor, but simply this is what this is, you know, is doing the same thing, you know, it's just simplified for us, <laughs> that makes sense. So um, let's go over this plugin right quick, you know, it's by Waze Factory, has the low cut and high cut. So basically with this low cut and high cut, uh, when my vocals come in, um, I could set this where my vocals like kind of you know stop from the low end to the high end so that way it could just focus and dev on those frequencies only and um not worry about any other low end or more of the low end or other places that the, fre the vocals have anything to do with you know regarding higher higher frequencies and lower lower frequencies so that's pretty much what these two um settings for and i'll demonstrate as i go along with the plugin uh the amount is just pretty much saying how much of uh compression that you want while uh attenuating when the vocals are going and it's pretty much kind of like a, a threshold um nod so that's pretty much what that is it's a little button over here you can go in a little detail more it's called advanced panel uh, currently, I'm doing it in the left and right, and you can also do this in mid-side mode. Let's say, for example, if you just want to focus on the mid and the side uh, of the audio, you can actually do it with those those frequencies that's in that mid and side area. You can actually do that uh, once if when you engage that in. So um, I rather do left and right. Um, the attack is pretty much. Uh, how fast you want the compressor to engage or or start you know working and the release is how fast or slow you know the release to release the audio um, from being um, you know attenuated so the cool thing about this you know you can adjust it to your taste if you want to go and do some fine tuning I found that I didn't really need to do that. Um, it's just uh, the mount knob here was just enough for me, so that was pretty cool. 
again, I'm giving, you know, definitely shout out to Wave Factory for coming up with something like this because it just makes the job faster and, you know, you can just do things faster. This freeze button is pretty much will freeze um, this in this GUI here, freeze the area. So you can kind of like pinpoint if you want to look at frequencies that being attenuated, where they're starting from from the low end to the high end. So that's pretty much what this is and we'll demonstrate as we go through. All right, so we only have two tracks up here and they're both stereo tracks. And we're gonna go ahead and play it and let's see this thing in action and watch how intuitive it is. And I think this should be a tool in everyone's, every mixing engineer or producer's arsenal. Um, you can do some crazy things, you know, even like with bass, and kick you can if if they're clashing depending on what you want to set this track on um to be attenuated for example with this one i have this track here let's go to it so the beat i have it inserted i have it inserted on this track right here let me take this off i don't really need this because i can't side chain with that all right so i have it here on the beat because I want the vocals to duck those frequencies that's in the beat. That way the vocals can be heard and, you know, heard, you know, clear, uh, not being mass or fighting with other frequencies and their separation. Okay. So basically, in, I'm, and I'm actually using Cubase. So depending on what DAW you're using, you just follow those instructions of, you know, inserting plugins. So I'm inserting the plugin on an insert channel. All right. So in Cubase, which is this right here, you have to do something here to set up your side chain. So you have to set up a side chain. So whatever DAW you're using, you got to set your side chain um, stuff up. If you're using Pro Tools, you got to whatever Pro Tools way of setting up the side chain or Logic and so forth. All right. So here, this little button here in Cubase it says activate deactivate side chain which is I already have it activated and then I go over to this little star right here and then and ask you um, what do you want before this was here uh, matter of fact uh, let's just go from scratch so I can show okay so I'm clicking this here engaging this in and Let's do this. Let's do this. So I can, just in case you have Cubase and don't know how to do this. Okay. Two ways you can do it. Let's go this way first. Okay. Track spacer. All right. Let's pull this up. Now I'm going to see if I could delete this out. Let's see if I don't want this. Okay, yeah, let's delete it out. Okay, now, so let's start from the beginning. I want to activate the side chain. I have this activated, and I go over here to this little star-like thing. It says set up side chain routing, and it's going to ask you add side chain source. So I will click in this area right here to add my side chain source, and my source is the vocals. So I'm clicking on the vocals. Boom, there I have it. So now the vocals it will send out signal to that beat to duck the frequencies that i uh, have set within the parameters of the wave factory now the second way you can do this is let's say for example if you don't didn't know how to do it that way you can actually go here and do it um so we have have it here and let's say um, we want to activate the side chain. So you still have to go here and activate the side chain here. But you could go to the sin <clears throat> on the actual uh, channel. And you can choose. Okay, let's see, if it gives, let's see if it gives us this. It should. At least in the previous Cubase, you could do it that way. I just want to make sure. Okay. Maybe not. Okay. Well, I'm using Cubase 11 now, so um, usually it'll be a side chain parameter that you could choose right there. 
So I guess you can't do it, unfortunately, there. But wait, wait, wait. Take that back. Take that back. I'm wrong. Let's take this out. All right. So again, let's go back. Sorry about that. <laughs> so you have to go to the vocal channel. So we already got track, sp track spacer on the beat. So we need to go to the vocal channel and we need to send that channel. We need to send this signal to uh, the side chain input, which is the shorty beat instrument track one. So we will click here and then we'll turn it on. And then you can set how much of that signal that you want to send, of course. So that's how you do it the second way. All right. If you don't know how to do it the first way, if you have Cubase. So that's just some stuff that's good to know. All right. So let's go back to track spacer. Okay. All right. So I'm going to play this and let's see this thing in action. All right. So we know we got going here. Yep. We're good. I'm going to mess. I'm going to press play, mash, press play. Hey, baby. I know you're always telling me how much you love it when I do the things that I do for you. I just want to let you know, baby. I got you. It's for you, shorty. Hey, shorty, tell me how you want me to love you down. Cause okay, see, I already had the filter and stuff set the way I want it, so I'm, go I'm going to put everything back. Um, as if I didn't have a set. So while this playing, let's look at it now. Cause every day when I'm with you, you say you need me now. Started on the phone to be. And you can see the vocals are about right here, right in this area right here. Nothing's down here much. Nothing's down here much. So I really don't need to uh, focus on that area. I need to focus in this middle area. So in order for me to for it to dev in this area, I need to use these parameters at the bottom, the low cut and the high cut. So let's play it now. Start working that out. In the song, Shorty says she wants to take it to the front. Shorty says, baby, I will never let you go. Special kind of love she's never had before. She's loving everything I'm doing with her. Shorty says she's never felt this way before. Shorty says she likes it. Shorty says she wants it. Shorty says she needs it. So basically, in this area, what I'm telling um, Track Spacer not to really uh, do any t much attenuating here, just focus on between here and here, I think, which is uh, 135 hertz to, uh, what's that, 14K. All right, so most of the stuff will be here. And now let's go to the mount button and let's see what the mount button does. So it's at zero, so obviously it's not doing any um, compressing or t attenuating the frequencies in that range some. Now you see I'm over exaggerating, but you can see it actually attenuating those frequencies, right? It's cutting out some of the, uh, a lot of the mids that's masking with the vocals. Obviously that's too much and we don't want that, so we want to back off. She needs it. Shorty says she loves it. Shorty says she likes it. Shorty says she wants it. Shorty says she needs it. Shorty says she loves it. Hey, Shorty, don't you worry, cause I'll always be around. No matter what we do, I will never let you down. Shorty says tonight, I'll. Okay, that's about good right there, you know. Um, I don't want too much, where you're so audible, but the whole purpose of this is to be able to hear the beat and the vocals but have separation no masking and that's what we're trying to achieve here i'm gonna take you home shorty says she wants to take it to the throne shorty says freeze button is cool like i said if you wanted to pin see the pinpoint of what it's actually uh affecting it'll show it right here so from here you can see what 140 or 130 to uh, 
uh, again, 14K is what was what is actually being affected in that range. So that's what the freeze button is for, is to give you a, a visual and show you that. Baby, I will never let you go. That's your kind of love she's never had before. She's loving everything I'm doing for her. Shorty says she's never loved this way before. Shorty says she likes it. Shorty says she wants it. Shorty says she needs it. Shorty says she loves it. Now, the, uh, the rap version vocals of this going to come up, <clears throat> and it's going to be a deeper voice. So obviously it's going to go more down to the low end. The cool thing about this, you can actually automate that. So let's play it. Okay, so you see here, which is shorty says she like, they was going a little lower. So um, what I could do, I would automate that, right? And until that rap part is over with, because I know that it's going into the low end some. End some. So I would press the uh, right automation and um, I would go back right here until it comes back in. And I'll start writing automation to this. Shorty says she wants it. Shorty says she needs it. Shorty says she loves it. Shorty says she likes it. Shorty says she loves it. Shorty says she needs every day, every day, every day, every day loves it. Shorty wanna pull up to my pad. Shorty got that money, money bag. Shorty tapping in, pulling up, pulling up, pulling up, pulling up in the pink jack. Watch how she work it to the max, to the max, to the max, to the max on the stunner walk. Shorty got my mind going crazy, 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 crazy from the pillow talk. Shorty says she likes it. Shorty says she wants it. Shorty says she needs it. Shorty says she loves it. Shorty says she likes it. Shorty says she wants it. Shorty says she needs it. Shorty says she loves it. Shorty says she wants it. Shorty says she needs it. Shorty says she loves it. Shorty says she. Okay, so that's just pretty much automation. Let's check it out. Let's see it work. See it in action. Shorty says she likes it. Shorty says she loves it. Shorty says she needs it. Every day, every day, every day, every day loves it. Shorty wanna pull up to my pad. Shorty got that money, money bag. Shorty tapping in, pulling up, pulling up, pulling up, pulling up in the pink jack. Watch how she work it to the max, to the max, to the max, to the max on the stunner walk. Shorty got my mind going crazy, 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 crazy from the pillow talk. Shorty says she likes it. Shorty says she wants it. Shorty says she needs it. Shorty says she loves it. Shorty says she likes it. Shorty says she wants it. Shorty says she. And then it goes back to where I had it from the beginning. You know, the setting that I had when the other vocals come in that's higher, that's not as low. So you can automate this as well. And I think it's just pretty awesome and cool. Um, I just want to show y'all how I use this plugin. And I hope you got some out of it. Um, if you have any comments, uh, definitely leave some comments. Please like, share, whatever. Um, and definitely uh, hit that subscribe and notification, notification button because I got plenty more videos coming. And I guarantee there'll be good videos and good things um, that you can use in your home studio. Okay, that being said, I am out. It's time for me to go get something to eat in my stomach. And I will see you guys later. Have a good one.